Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on Microsoft Excel. This is the second video on Microsoft Excel. Check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on Microsoft Excel. In this lesson too, we'll be looking at data entry, data editing, data formatting, autofill, inserting rows and columns, and lots more. So let's go. Here is our workbook and um, we are going to enter our data right away. And the information we are going to be entering in this workbook is given here. We have it here. This is the table. So we click on cell A1. Cell A1 is on column A and row 1. Now that you have selected the cell A1, we call it an active cell. We have two ways of entering the data. You can enter the data directly, name of students, then hit the enter key. That gives you the name. Or you click the cell and then go to the formula bar, place the cursor on the formula bar and type Adavise Ozovehe. Then you hit the enter key. If you look at this, you discover that the content in column A has extended to column B. You don't need to panic. Okay? So, what we need to do is you type in all the values you need to type in. Then we are going to fit it to each cell by doing auto fit so we are going to do that and then um, we go ahead now to enter the other information so you can see we have entered the names of student then we don't need to be scared of getting to column b this is column b you just click on the cell b1 then we enter the subject english we enter the subject English, you hit enter, then enter the scores of the English 56, enter 68, enter 48, enter. Then we are done entering the scores for English. If you look at it now, you discover that the names now are hidden, they are no more overlapping to second column, which is column B. We still go ahead to enter math. This case, I'm going to write it in full. Mathematics, hit the enter. We then enter the scores for the student. So we have the scores entered. The next subject is current affairs. Click on cell D. We type in current affairs. Hit the enter, then enter the scores. So we are done entering the scores. You can see. So what we did now is see how we can auto fit the content of the cells to their respective cells. You can see this. You see this is the name of student. You see that all are not fully visible. We have two ways of doing this. The first way is to click on the particular column and the line between the column and the next column is this. Then you now hold and drag until it is fully visible or now we are going to highlight everything we highlight everything then auto fit it at once we highlight all the cells in this worksheet so that we will now be able to auto fit it so let's go we click on this icon the icon represents highlighting all the cells we can call it an empty space before column A and before row 1. You click on it. You see it has highlighted all the cells in the worksheet. Then you can now double click any of the lines between the letters of the columns. So this is the line. This is the line here. This is the line. So you can just double click even outside the what? Outside the columns of the table you just double click you see now that the auto fit has been applied every content of the cell is 
visible so that is auto fit the next thing is data editing assuming we have maybe spelled any of the names wrongly or we have typed wrong marks or the headers for instance there are many ways of doing this you click on this particular one then when you click on it you double click you see the cursor now is blinking inside the cell you can then remove whatever you need to remove and then retype what you need to retype or you can just click on like we have andrew green click on the cell go to the formula bar you place the cursor there then use the arrow to move around the letters and remove and edit whatever you need to edit then hit the enter and you are done or if it is not that very large for instance i have 69 here as i mean it is 70 i may not need to just start typing since it is just 70 i will just type 7 and 0 hit enter it has been edited so that is data editing in microsoft excel then the next thing we need to do is data formatting or cell formatting now if you look at this this is a table we have to create a header for the table so you highlight the header and then do the necessary formatting to make it different from other content but i'm going to take us through one thing click on one of the headers then apply the necessary formatting then you can replicate all those formatting to the other headers item so we go then you click on it on the font group you click on bold it is bold i can change the font color i click red it is now red i can even change the cell fill then come here and select fill color then put whatever color you need to put is okay then um the next thing is i can change the font name of font face of the content by clicking here and select from the option or if i want to change it to tahoma i'll just type ta tahoma appears i hit enter it has been changed to tahoma don't worry about the hidden uh, content if i want to increase the font size i can increase the font size here or decrease this is increasing this is decreasing the original font size is 11 so i can increase it i can decrease it so let me decrease it to 10 so i have it there if i want to apply italic i can do that but i don't want if i want to underline i can underline i don't want it to underline i just remove it and then that is it so what i need to do now is i have formatted this cell and its content i need to replicate it to the other headers what i do is to use the clipboard group within the clipboard group i have paste i have cut i have copy and i have format painter this is the format painter i'm going to use it helps to copy the format we have on this cell to other cells so i click on the format painter you can see then it has look at the nature of my mouse now then i'll now use it to highlight the other headers to apply the format you can see that i can then click again and then double click on the lines to or to fit the headers the next thing to do is come to this course we can format it in such a way that it will be center aligned left aligned right aligned so where we do that is the alignment so you see this is left aligned if you click it now all the content will move to the left this is center aligned it moves to the center this is right aligned it goes back to the original alignment then here is bottom align this is middle align and this is top align if you want it to go up you click on it it goes up if you want it to be in the middle you click to move it to the middle we want to actually make it center align so we have it as center align so we have it there so the next thing to do now is to format the entire table formatting the entire table 
by applying lines to make it look like a table so that we now highlight all the content within our table there's another way we can just click one of the cells and press ctrl a it highlights within the table then we go to the font group again click on this bottom border when you click on the arrow next to bottom border you see all the options and the one we are interested in is all borders we click all borders you see now that it is now looking like a table with border lines so that is that so what we need to do next is inserting rows and columns um, let's start with the columns assuming you need to bring in a new subject or a subject is omitted and you need to place it between mathematics and current affairs what we need to do is it means this we move to e and the new column will come to d so what we do is we select any cell within the column okay then we right click on that cell that's the first option you click on insert you see entire column you click the entire column is inserted or you click on any cell within that column go to the cells group click on insert and select insert sheet columns and you have the new columns inserted you type in the subject okay we need to close this the next thing is to add the scores so we've added the scores and uh, for your information the formatting you have made to the header will be automatically applied and also the values under the science subject they will be automatically applied we want to add another column that is at the beginning um, this column now is going to be taking care of serial numbers okay and from there we will now look at how we can do auto fill then we click on which means the new column is coming for column a we click on column a right click then select insert click on entire column and then okay we type in the serial number if you see this now the header now does not have the format applied initially probably because it's at the beginning so we click on this apply the format painter and we have it there the same thing for the border lines we apply the border lines then we type the first two numbers in this case since we've typed the first two numbers let me apply the center align okay then highlight the first two numbers then you go to the cell handle the square at the bottom right here is called the cell handle okay that is called the cell handle look at it here this is the cell handle and if you look at it when you hover your mouse to it it changes to plus then you hold it drag till the end and you have it as applied we have the numbers one to ten is okay that's the end for that one and then we now look at them um, rows inserting rows um a student's name was omitted or needed to be added what we we'll do is we now look at the name since the names are arranged in alphabetical order um, the name is gabriel moses and then where will gabriel moses go to is between chris daniel and haruna garba so which means it is coming to row seven so you click on that row seven right click click insert and then entire row then select ok we have it there we have gabriel moses then apply put insert the scores maybe for english 76 then mathematics 90 science 78 and current affairs it scored 65 so that is for that then you now come back to the numbers 
what do we do? We can just start with these two, highlight these two, autofill it, and you have it applied. Okay, that is autofill. And there are many ways we can make use of this autofill. We can use it to generate sequence of numbers, like numbers divisible by 3. The first number is 3 divisible by 3. The next one is 6. Then we can now highlight and apply autofill, you see, to generate all the multiples of 3. It could be even numbers, 2, 4. Then we highlight the 2 and 4, apply the autofill. It could be days of the week, which is Monday. In this case, you just only one, then you autofill up till Sunday. Even if you continue, it goes infinitely. Is that okay? It could be month of the year, so that we have January. Then apply the autofill up till December and it continues endlessly. That's how to apply autofill for Microsoft Excel. And the next thing is deleting. Now I have done all this. If I want to delete it, I just highlight and select delete from my keyboard. It deletes only the content of the cells. It deletes only the content of the cells. For instance, now, if I highlight this one and select delete, you see it deletes only the content of the cell. But if I want to delete the content and even the cells, all I need to do is just to place uh, my cursor on any of the cells. Then I go to delete. I can delete the sheet rows. I can delete sheet columns. If I delete the sheet rows, Chris Daniel is gone. Since I don't want to delete it, I press Ctrl Z. If I want to delete the column, I click and select delete sheet columns. You see the serial number column gone. So I press Ctrl Z to bring it back. And that's all for this. And this is where we are ending this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on Microsoft Excel. Until we come your way again, goodbye.